represent uh, District 16 in the Maryland State Senate with my wonderful colleagues, uh, Delegate Ariana Kelly, Delegate Mark Corman, Delegate Sarah Love, and it includes uh, most of Bethesda, a little bit of Chevy Chase, Friendship Heights, a little bit of Rockville, a little bit of Potomac, uh, Kevin John, and Glen Echo. It's a wonderful district to represent, and I, I feel very honored and privileged to be able to represent the citizens in, in those uh, communities. I'm going to support the comprehensive um, uh, bills that are being introduced to address climate change, but also clean energy, which is being introduced by uh, the chair of, um, of EHE committee, uh, Paul Pinsky, Senator Pinsky, who's been a terrific champion of our environment. And I'm co-sponsoring that bill. And I'm co-sponsoring the bill, uh, hopefully if I can get it in time, the time to care to give paid leave uh, to it basically is a ins uh, Maryland insurance program uh, to be able to provide uh, paid leave to those who have to take care of themselves or a family member when th things happen, like this pandemic, for instance. There is a bill that the Attorney General, myself, and Delegate Leslie Lopez or have introduced SB uh, 387 to um, ban ghost guns. As you know, ghost guns are guns that can be assembled from different parts. You can get the parts online and you can assemble a gun, even an assault gun. And they, because they don't have a serial number on them, they're untraceable. They don't require any background checks. And unfortunately, they're being used increasingly by uh, violent criminals, felons, and uh, domestic abusers and individuals that are not allowed to have guns under the law. There's another bill dealing with stalking. I've passed laws um, in the past dealing with stalking. Now there is a problem with electronic cyber stalking. These, uh, these devices that can trace domestic violence victims all over the place, and it's being increasingly used now. But unfortunately, our law enforcement are not able to recognize the signs right away. The bill that I have this year, SB 134, would uh, allow our wonderful law enforcement to be able to get training in um, electronic stalking devices and that kind of technology. So we're hopeful that will complement all the stalking laws I have passed in, in the past. I want everyone to know that I am here to serve and represent you, uh, to help us, um, to uplift and empower all communities and, and everyone in my district and make this a better world for everybody and to fulfill the promise of America. So, because we're so unique as a country in our rich diversity, but there's so many things we hold in common as Americans. So let's work together. Let's fulfill the promise of America together. Information is key. To stay informed on what's happening in Montgomery County, like, share, and subscribe to our channel.